Hi, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister, and today we're going to look at problems with a deep cursor. You'll notice that this cursor is bigger than the character. Sometimes we will get tech support questions about why is my letting incorrect, the spacing between sentences. The font works okay in a desktop publishing program, but it doesn't work in a word processor. And so the reason for this is, is that there is a stray point, a loose point somewhere above or below the character. Let's take a look. Now when you're in Fontographer developing a font, you may not have noticed. But if you view like this, what do you know? There's a loose point and that will cause the deep cursor problem that we just saw in Microsoft Word. Now we're going to play detective here and see if we can solve the mystery of how this stray point got up here. The first thing you should do is go to Element Font Info and check your size of your M square and your letting. So the letting being the amount of space between sentences. Maybe you uh, were in here experimenting and, and you forgot. And if you happen to change your A sender or D sender, well then uh, a point that used to be within the M square before, now it's outside the M square. So that's one way that things could have happened. Now another thing you could do to investigate how this happened would be to go to the file menu and export an AFM file. Go to export, metrics, choose AFM and what you're going to get is a text file. Let me show you what one looks like. Here is an Adobe font metrics or AFM file and this file can help you troubleshoot whether or not you have a straight point. Now Back to Fontographer for a minute. I know that you're going to be thinking to yourself, well, that's easy. Anybody could see that straight point there. But sometimes they're much higher, way off the reservation here. And I've had many famous tech support incidents where it was very difficult to find that little point. So just because I'm using an easy example here, don't jump to conclusions. All right. Now let's go back to our AFM file. Okay, there's some things you need to know about Adobe font metric files. First of all, AFM files are automatically normalized at uh, 1,000 units for an M square. So once you have that information and you take a look at the font bounding box here, once you get to know the criteria, you can see immediately there's something wrong. That there is a bounding box of 1,247 when a normal uh, AFM file would have 1,000. So you know there's something wrong and that would be a problem with the bounding box. Now another tip that I've just kind of pasted in, into this uh, AFM file is that the normal descender would be something like minus 350. Now, this one is a did giveaway because it's minus 730. So if you're a good detective you immediately start being uh, suspicious of the comma character. So what you do is go back to your font, take a look at the comma character and you'd say look at there's where my strike point is but once you get the hang of this you'll be able to track down where the straight points are uh, very quickly now it is possible to have more than one character that has a loose point so make sure to look all the way through your font now what I would do is uh, back in Fontographer here you can use some of the uh, shortcut keys next glyph control bracket uh, on the Mac that would be command brackets. So you would just kind of move through all the characters in the font using the information you got from the AFM file and just inspect every character thoroughly. Sometimes things like this will drive you crazy. Once you do find the stray point, just highlight it and delete it and regenerate the font. Now if you did have bitmaps in this font, which a lot of people don't nowadays, but if you did you'd have to go to the element menu and recalc the bitmaps. So there's some good tips for you to track down a deep cursor problem and detect stray points or loose points in your font. Thank you again for watching the Photographer tutorial series. Please let us know if there's other topics you'd like to see covered and as always check your user manual and the Photographer Technos for more details. 